Okay, so I realised that I didn't actually talk or explain where I am or where I'm going. Um, basically, today is a Saturday. It's the first weekend in England where everything is open. So all the clothes shops, nail shops, hair shops, gyms are open. And um, Aidan went to his dad's this morning. So I thought it'd be nice. It's really nice and sunny outside. Um, I thought it'd be nice just to go for a little window around the shops get myself some nice food i got some bubble tea and i knew that the big shopping centers would be really really busy um obviously it's the first weekend it's a saturday um after everything's like up and reopened so i took myself to canary wharf where i know that first of all there's a lot of yummy food there and i ended up getting a poke bowl which i'm still waiting to eat but i'm stuck in traffic the traffic is actually mental um around london today and yeah so i took myself to canary wharf because i know that on the weekends canary wharf is quite quiet but it also has all the shops that i wanted to go to so it's got like sarah mango um it had space nk which i wanted to go to um and it's yeah it's just a really nice relaxing place on the weekend and i was right it was literally like it was half empty <laughs> like compared to normal and there was no queues whatsoever to get into any shop like sarah mango whatever just walk straight in and it wasn't even that busy at all and i'm so glad that i went there because i know that um places like blue water or westfield would you know it's gonna be like mental i ended up getting a couple of pairs of sandals from manga i'll show you when i get home but right now i'm actually stuck in traffic trying to get through the black wall tunnel and then what I'm going to do is go to the Chinese supermarket and this is the reason why I came to Canary Wharf because I'm going to go to the Chinese supermarket and it's only like 5 or 10 minutes away from Canary Wharf so I thought I might as well go get myself some nice food and you know just have a nice wander around and it's just nice to feel a little bit normal again after like being at home for so long even though I love being at home and right now I can't wait to get home and get into my joggers but it's also nice to you know see not see people but like just have a walk around and be in like a normal environment it, it felt really nice um just doing that so i'm going to go to the chinese supermarket get myself some groceries because i have nothing like i have food but not like chinese food i don't have any veggies or tofu no more kimchi no more noodles that kind of stuff you you guys know what i normally buy like when i go to the chinese supermarket and um, so i don't have any of that so i'm gonna go get that um, when I get there, I've been stuck in this traffic for like 30 minutes now. Like I said, from Canary Wharf to the Chinese supermarket, it's like five or 10 minutes normally. Um, but I've been stuck in this queue for like half an hour. So yeah, that's basically what's happened today. When I get home, I'm gonna get my sweats on, um, do a bit of decluttering because Aiden left this morning and he didn't tidy his um, toys up. So I'm gonna tidy my toys, my toys, his toys, um, I have clothing to put away and then you know just do the normal house chores and then chill and Netflix and yeah so I'll show you what I got when I get home oh by the way guys I didn't even mention I've got a brand new hair colour so my hairdresser helped me order two different colour turners and I mixed them together and applied it myself so it's not a permanent hair colour it will cut fade and the more I wash it the more it gets lighter and lighter but right now it's like a light ashy brown colour um, it's not as brassy and um, not as blonde as it used to be I'm definitely not blonde anymore it's more like a lightest brown actually maybe like a dark blonde um, depending on you know who who's gonna say what colour it is but I really really like it I think it complements me a lot more um, than my previous blonde just because my blonde looked nice when it was turned but when it wasn't turned and it got really brassy it just wasn't very nice it just looked a bit yellow and yeah so really happy with this hair colour we've got fresh buns in so I'm gonna get some buns for Aiden yay so I'm home now, I thought I'd show you what sandals I picked up. So I picked up two pairs, couldn't decide. So I thought I'd buy them both and then decide at home. Um, because they're both quite different, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna try them on and see. Um, so this is a kind of like a platform pair of sandals. And then this is leather and it's quite um, padded. So it's kind of like puffy looking. 
I thought these were really cute and they're kind of casual but then they're kind of really trendy at the same time as well and these were £50 so these weren't um, that cheap compared to this pair which was £20 so it's like more than double but then it is leather and it is like it's like quite a lot thicker um, so I got this pair you can get it in black as well but I thought that this colour would be nicer um, because I wear a lot of black clothing it might be kind of like a nice contrast um, to have some light sandals and I actually don't have any light sandals I don't think um, of like flat style like this um, although I do have lots of black ones and then I also got these ones it's like a tan braided quite minimalist simple um, sandal but what I liked about these again is kind of like the padding it's I don't know it's not like a braided flat leather strap it's kind of like a you know it's got a bit of puffiness a bit of volume to it it looks a bit different and they actually looked quite wide which was good because I have wide feet normally these sandals sometimes this bit can be quite um, slim and it can hurt my little toe um, but these ones looked quite wide so I thought I'd get these and try them on at home they're both a size 5 so these were 20 and then these were 50 so whilst I'm talking about stuff that I bought I also bought these yesterday so House of Fraser I kid you not it's not a joke um, I put it on my Instagram stories House of Fraser were doing 50% off all of their beauty stuff so makeup skincare perfumes um, as long as the brand is um, involved with the offer then they were doing 50% off so the entire Charlotte Tilbury counter was 50% off and then so was Poppy Brown as well um, and obviously there's lots of other brands like Urban Decay, Lancome, Clarins, Armani which was included in an all the perfumes as well so it's such a good deal and since it was a half price I bought the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush Flawless Finish Powder Perfecting Micro Powder I've heard so much about this but I've never tried it before I got it in the colour Fair so this was half price I think it's meant to be 35 so I got it for um, 17.50 I think it was then I got a lipstick I've been looking for like a dark red lipstick and Bobbi Brown had this colour and it looked really really nice so did I just say a dark brown? I meant a dark red um, dark red lipstick because a lot of my dark reds are kind of like liquid lipstick formulas I wanted one that's in a bullet so it's a little bit more easier to apply and I don't need a mirror when I'm applying it and I also got the classic gel eyeliner um, this is to go in my makeup kit um, just like a fresh new one just got it in black black ink yeah so all of this was half price these three items were meant to be 80 pounds but I got it for 40 yeah quite pleased with that little haul 